Welcome back, Internet. It's been about a week since the last clip. <laughs> so, turns out, the stainless steel headers I had originally bought for the ambulance exhaust system, they did not fit. They were not compatible with the frame style of the G30 van, which we are installing them on. So, that's why you see this beautiful header right here. This is a Headman header. As you can see right here, the beautiful badging. And this is number 69060. And this is made for specifically G10, G20, and G30 vans from 71 to about 91. And this is made for the 283 through 400 Chevy V8. I just test fitted this header up to the engine block a few days ago. It fit perfectly. Piece of cake. And here's the other set over here. They're beautiful. They have this nice black paint on them from the factory to prevent rust and such as they're being shipped to the prospective client. They come with header bolts and coupler bolts and then these are the reducer coupler bits right here. And that came in the kit. To be honest with you, I'm a little sad they're not stainless steel, but these do fit perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and use them. These are technically uncoated. So the first task will be removing this protective black paint and sanding it down, degreasing it, metal prepping it, and then putting on a nice coat of pore 15 high temp paint. The paint is rated up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit or this much for you guys who don't use freedom units. We get an aluminum silver color so these things will shine and look amazing when it's done. Of course, to aid in this process, we're gonna have a angle grinder with a wire wheel cup attachment. And as always, safety third, we're gonna have glasses a respirator for so those little particles don't get in your lungs and I will be wearing ear protection as well and then I have an assortment of backup items metal wire brushes flapper discs another disc here so we should be able to get this thing ground down and of course you certainly could just bolt these right up there and run with them like this as they are but of course this paint is not high temperature it is just a protective coating it will peel off literally in the first five minutes and then these are unfortunately made of mild steel so without a protective coating like a high temperature paint they will rust yes our favorite word rust and additionally we're going to be putting an efi system in the lance in an upcoming episode so stay tuned for that and in preparation for that install, we are going to be putting in O2 sensor bungs on the collector pipes as we're doing the headers. So this is going to save us a lot of hassle later on because we'll already have that done. And that's a necessary component for your EFI system. So what these are, are these, are, these are just bungs that are weldable onto pipes. And this is a exact thread for O2 sensors. This is standard thread. I believe it's 18 by 1.5 millimeter. So this part will go setting on the collector pipe and then there it comes with a cap that just screws in like this. And when you're not using an O2 sensor, as we will not be for a small while, this will block off the hole so you don't have an exhaust leak. Later on, we will be installing an O2 sensor obviously in this port. Unfortunately, we do not have a welder. So this is gonna be something the exhaust shop will be taking care of. So this guy will just literally go about right there or so, and we'll have O2 sensor capabilities. So just to give you a cool before and after shot, we're gonna go from this. All right, let's get to grinding. No, not that grinding. Grinding. 